Baja friends, I'm going to document the keto retreat to Thailand. And right now I'm in Honolulu. We haven't taken off yet. Honolulu to Korea. And I'm gonna hang out in Korea for a little bit. I told you I'm gonna do some skin things. Don't judge my skin today. It's pretty dry on all these flights. But um, I'm on Korean Air. And if you've never been on Korean Air, like first of all, the flight attendants are the nicest ever. Um, and the food. Like I usually don't plan on eating on the airplane because it's a little gross, right? Um, last time I was on Korean Air, I got a filet mignon steak that was perfectly cooked and the appetizer were scallops. Like, what's not to love about that? And today, um, we'll start with the scallops, I guess. I saw the menu and I chose mahi as my meal. So I'll show you some of that. But yeah, I'm gonna document the, another keto retreat. So whether you're interested in coming or you're interested in just exploring different parts of the world, I will document that with you. So here we go. So in Korea, this is the breakfast. You can order any eggs you want. I have them cook them in butter. Thank you so much. And they have like a whole bunch of different things like um, beef and chicken and seafood. But most of it comes with a sugar sauce. And so they are making it special for me without any sugar. Yahoo! All right, everybody, first day in Thailand. We're in Phuket. We have Olivia, our guide. Anessa's here. Everybody else is arriving tonight about, what, like seven, you think? We're going to dinner? And we are on, what is it called? You guys can talk, it's okay. What's this street called? This is the Bangla Walking Street. The walking, yeah. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. the walking street, yeah. yeah. The walking street, yeah. The street is crazy at night time. Crazy yeah. at night time. There's yeah. a lot of uh, weed stores. Yeah. A lot of weed stores. All the weed. Yeah. All, all the, the weed. weed shops, all the shopping things like street street and street food as well. Street yeah. food, all right. Weed and tattoos. Yeah. Weed and yeah. tattoos. And like little fish that will clean your feet, mm. right? Fish bar, huh? Fish bar. <laughs> <That's all the laughs> fish bar, yeah. yeah. And we are going to the market to get some. What are we getting? Are we going to get like uh, the cream cheese? Oh, I thought you yeah. And the, the, the blender. Cheese cream. Oh, the, the cheese, cheese cream. cream. Yeah, yeah, she got the cheese back cream. Back. <laughs> And the, the stick blender because mine broke in Korea. Extra and we can, water, extra drinking extra water. Extra water. I already have garlic and ginger that I got in Korea to make the best sauce ever. It's not the best sauce ever, but it's the sauce I like to put on with seafood. So I will show you guys that when we go to the restaurant tonight. Is it a seafood restaurant tonight? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. Has like a seafood options as well. Seafood options as well. So Anessa came a day early because last. Uh, last year you came to the Bali trip yeah. and you had a flight delay. Missed the welcome dinner, not this time. I got here a whole day early so I wouldn't miss a single minute of the fun. Because the welcome dinner was, sorry, it was really awesome. Shh, I don't want to hear about it. I'm sorry. We'll just have to go back. <laughs> okay, let's go back. I really would. I really liked it. So anyway, off to another adventure. Oh, so here we are at the market. What? Do they sell chickens like this? Steamed ones? Oh, these are steamed. Oh, this is crispy duck, man. Yeah. The Michelin stars? Do you make the crispy duck? Yes. Oh, yum. I might need to get some crispy duck. So this is the mall. Isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. And there's like a market in the middle. I love it. We're looking for a stick blender to make the sauce. So tonight our welcome dinner, you can't see my food, but it's humongous. And Olivia, where are we at? Mankam restaurant. Mankam, and it's very dark video. I'm sorry, my friends, but it is really delicious. Oh, more light. We're right on the beach or the ocean and we have lots of different seafood, grilled shrimp. And we have like a whole platter here. Mussels and squid. Mussels and squid and lots of good yumminess. Bon appetito. Olivia, hey, we are, what what kind of boat are we on? This is a long tail boat. Long tail boat, and yeah. we're snorkeling. You can tell it's very long. Oh yeah, long. very long. We're gonna have eight stops today. Oh, Number one. It's pretty clear down there. Well, let's focus. All right, here at Savoy's. Look at we got like a 
Is that a what kind of crab is that? A uh, sea crab? <laughs> a dead one. And a giant lobster that we got to pick out. Scallops with garlic butter. This was crab cocktail and fried fish. Scallops with American cheese, don't hit it. Fried fish. And we have so many good things. Bon appetit. Here's our hike. Wow. Oh, wow. Totally worth bearing the heat. Holy cow. <sighs> You're gonna share these pictures? I'm gonna post this on YouTube. Oh, Say cheese. Cool. American cheese. American cheese. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Juan. This is nice. On the rock. We're continuing our hike. Now we're at the beach. We're gonna walk along the cliffs here. So tonight we're dining at the Butcher's Garden in Phuket. And our appetizers, we have some burrata. Uh, we have some Wagyu beef sliders over there. More burrata, because I told them they had to. Um, let's see, we have mussels and like a beautiful cream sauce. There's a crab tartare that has caviar on it. Avocado, looks delicious. Bon appetito. All right, I should have done this before I ate half of it, but we have a Wagyu tenderloin here. Uh, side of mushrooms over there. This is their truffle hollandaise over there. This is my steak sauce there. We have a strip loin over here. What else we got? Ribeye rib over there. I know everybody wants a close up of the ribeye. What do we have over here? Ribeye. Ribeye. And you had a tenderloin also? Yeah, she's busy. What do you got over there, Brian? Lamb shank is delicious. Lamb shank. And Carrie Camp had the tenderloin at too. Not everybody came tonight, but it was good. So we are at Savoy's and we get to pick out our own fish. Oh my word, it's ginormous. This is fun. And you picked out the grouper, right? Yes. Where is it? So today we're doing some, how do you say it, Muay Thai? Muay Thai. Muay Thai. And we got some, look at the shorts, man. Everybody else was running. We're skipping the running. <laughs> Straight to the boxing. But if you bite on your things, where are they? These. Gloves. If you bite on your gloves, they charge you like 2,000 baht. So don't, I wouldn't put this in your mouth. So we went to do Muay Thai when it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the hottest part of the day. And it was over 100 degrees and all humidity. We expected to be in an air-conditioned room. Nope, we were outside in the heat, and man, was it such a workout. But we all loved it so much. It was one of our favorite activities Come that we did. On. Oh, finally! So today we're at the elephant sanctuary and you get a little basket of treats and then you get to feed them. That video was emotional. I almost had to stop. That's very cool. Today we're at the elephant sanctuary and they're offering us a, a vegan lunch. <laughs> Which we're going to pass on the vegan lunch. We're going to go have some seafood. Are we Carrie Cam? And what's her names? Her names? Her name Wenda. Wanda. Yeah, Wenda left side and the right side Tong Kwao. Tong Kwao. Yeah, Wenda 40. Went Tong Kwao 44. Thank you. Yeah, they are best always together a long time already. They met here. Yeah. They're friends. Yeah, best friend but no chef. Yeah. <laughs> They're so much no smaller than Africa. They always together all the time. Uh -huh. This elephant is 71 years old. And we get to just hang out and stand with them. It's so cool. Yeah. We're really close to them. And they can approach you. Four months ago, she came. Most of them were abused. Very sad story. They had us watch a video. I'm so grateful that they're here. This is the only male elephant at the sanctuary. Um, it's because he doesn't have any tusks. 
coming right to us. What is his name? He's 62. Oh. He's posing. Oh, look at me! Oh, he says, look how handsome I am. It's very cool. He's very close. Oh. After lunch, we are dropped off here. Instead of having the vegetarian lunch at the Elephant Sanctuary, we're going to a restaurant where we get to pick some meals and just you wait to see what I got. At the restaurant, my first thing is soft shell crab without any coating. They are very cool about doing that. I've never had soft shell crab. So I'm excited to try it. Bon appetito. And my second thing I got was crispy pork belly without any flour or coating, which is really good. And oh yeah, don't forget, I brought my own sauce. You must try that. Okay, my friends, we are on a tractor ride. Sorry about the bumps. On our way to our next hotel. You can see, it's like a hayride. Yahoo! This is beautiful though. Can they go through the water behind We were on a speedboat. Lovely. Here is our hotel. The reception is overlooking the ocean. Thank you. Thank you. It looks like I need to clean my camera. So this is our other resort. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. And what'd you get to eat? Burgers? Burger. Burger without the bread. Chicken satay. Chicken satay. Yummy, you can you can admit what you got. <laughs> All right, good. And what do we have over here? Green curry. Green curry, nummy nummy. And I have like a um, Kagai without any sugar. They made it fresh. It looks delicious. And then we got like a shrimp curry without any sugar too. Bon appetito. Aloha, everybody. Today is our boat day, and I wanted to introduce you to Carrie Camp. She's one of my certified keto coaches. I'll have her link below the video. She's top notch. Uh, but Carrie, what do you think of the vacation so far? So the, really the cool thing is, is we're all in the same mindset. We can travel really anywhere in the world. And what Maria teaches, and as we are going on this trip, is how to eat Aww. healthy and feel awesome along the way. Aww. So you have energy, you jump back from jet lag quickly because you're not eating inflammatory foods, but you also are able to experience yeah. something like this. We're on Bamboo Island in Thailand, um, right off the island of Fifi. So really with all of Maria's knowledge, uh, you know, my husband and I are in really great health, but we also know what to choose when we're traveling. And you have the good chocolate with you, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the good chocolate. So if you haven't tried this, <laughs> Maria, Code Maria on the good chocolate. And this is their kind of featured one, which is the Ethiopian coffee. And it's delicious. And really, when you see keto on this, it means it, where most things, when you see keto, it's not the truth. No. So this is truth, order it today. Oh, I'll help you with your jet lag when you travel too. Thanks, Carrie, <laughs> you're awesome. Uh -huh. let's, let's go snorkel. <laughs> yeah. And now we're getting off the long boat. It's about 12.30 for some Hi, lunch. Hi. Lunchtime! Right, Olivia? Lunchtime, Lunchtime at Pee, Pee Island. Check out the jellyfish right before we jump in. Yikes! Oh, uh, yeah, we can't go here. Oh, oh my gosh. I've been stung. I don't want to get stung again. Yeah, jellyfish. No. Yikes. More giant jellyfish. I don't know if we should get out of the water. Oh, off the boat into the water. So, this is where the Leonardo DiCaprio video, the beach, was filmed. I think we're stopping there sometime. I think this is the one. This is Maya Bay. The beach! Leonardo DiCaprio. You will know. You know? I told Craig just uh, grab a YouTube clip and show the kids. This is where I'm at. <laughs> Bay. This is the chaos you have to deal with. Look at all these boats. People try to get on, try to get off. 
I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, friends, we are on Pee Pee Island in the pool with the moonlight. I don't know if you can see the moonlight. Where is that? I don't know. But the beach is over there. It's just wonderful. <laughs> and I'm here with my new friend. She's from Canada. And we want to do like keto cooking in Canada sometime. Absolutely. Maybe. I would and love that. She was just telling me something really cool this morning about how you're eating more than ever, right? Yeah. Like I have to say, I um, have done breakfast, lunch, and dinner, full on protein. And um, if I ever did that on any other vacation, I, it would be, I mean, I, I don't, nothing would change in my, my diet or, or sorry, my weight loss. But I'm finding that where we, where we're eating, it's focused on so much on, um, on protein. And I'm like, okay, well, let's try this out. I did a little experiment. I weighed myself when I arrived at the restaurant and three days later, um, I'm like, on the, lost on the trip, weight. you mean? On this trip. Yeah. yeah. I've lost four pounds. That's and amazing. I'm like. Okay, maybe that's part of like, you know, because I was traveling, I was retaining a little bit of water, I don't know. But even that, after that, yeah. I would, the next day, I had dropped another pound. And I'm just like, I'm like, this doesn't make sense. Like, I'm <laughs> eating like, till I am so full. Yeah, lobsters. And, and oh my God, yeah. And so, um, yeah, so I'm just, I, I, it's proving itself that, that this kind of, uh, this lifestyle of eating is um even though i love it because it has changed my life um and um but i don't think i would ever do it any other way now like right. i just it's just amazing to and be on vacation a, you have a little treat every day don't you yes i do i have the i have the equip the good i oh, have the, the good chocolate too yeah i have the good the good chocolate and that i use that as my little dessert at night yep. um but yes i brought the uh the chocolate <laughs> equipped uh protein powder just as a backup in yep. case I wanted a sweetness or when I'm traveling at the airport. But that's good up. because like yeah. if you don't plan, you plan to fail, right? Right. Because I have a little strawberry equipped little, I, if you add ice to it and blend it up, it's like a little gelato. So yeah, I don't feel like awesome. left out at all. If oh you have God. a blender that works, <laughs> mine broke. It doesn't work. <laughs> I know. Woo, yay. So anyway, it's good food. It's good food. It's, and, it's, and you're having fun? I'm having an awesome time. And this is the thing. It's so simple. Like this is the thing. I was trying to add, I wanted to bug you, or not bug you, but I wanted to ask you, you all, the, all, the time. all the questions that I, you know, to see, to dive, dive in and figure things out. And I'm learning over this trip that it's so simple. Yeah. It's just and that it's not rocket science and so <laughs> and it's clearly proven itself like it really is it really is it's really awesome. i'm sure there's a lot of science to it but i'm just saying is um it's it's just it's it's kind of blown my mind because any other vacation i've been on with my husband is yeah i come back and i'm you know five pounds heavier or whatever the, you know and because i wasn't eating enough right and i was then right. craving and yeah. doing all this stuff this, and then you want sugar and, right right exactly. or something quick and easy and, right and right. so this i am like so stuffed every meal and came. you're so happy too like i tell you when you eat good like my moods are way better i don't know no certainly like and that's what i'm saying this this way of eating has improved my moods it has taken a lot of information out of my body I can, I know, I don't have pains in my joints. And um, so, no, I'm very happy with Well, with I'm so happy I met you. You guys are rock stars. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we could do I love this. It. Your husband's super fun, too. Oh, well, so. thank you. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I hope you come on another trip. I would love to. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you. <laughs> breakfast we'll be having. Um, omelets freshly made in butter and a beautiful view. And if you can hear that noise, that's the longboat. I didn't realize how loud they are, but well, here comes another one. There it is. Yes, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Tonight is our farewell dinner and we're so sad, but we have a beautiful meal along the ocean. Lots of fans because it is very hot. To 
tonight is our farewell dinner and we have beautiful lobster one kilo lobster what soup is yours the same as mine seafood yep oh same. come on look at mine boom <laughs> she's like you can't eat that i was like yes i can and we have some spicy things, curry over crab, shawshank crab curry. Mm -hmm. What's this one? That is the um, curry spicy food soup. All right, looks and good. And that one for soup for you. Yeah, thank you. This is tam ka pla yeah. without yeah. sugar. Yeah, yeah, tam ka pla. Yum. Oh, and what other soup is that? Steamed clams. Steamed clams, yum. Bon appetito. And that was it. Our keto retreat in Thailand. So much fun, so much beauty. So many friends to be made. I will keep in contact with every single one of my travelers. I am very excited. Some of them want me to come to their house. They're like, here's my address, come do a keto cooking thing. And I'm like, all right, I said yes to everything. So if you want to come on a trip of a lifetime, explore the world, make new friends, learn new things about keto, check it out. I hope you join me on my next adventure. We have one coming up in Costa Rica in January, the island of Ischia in uh, next March, or no, what am I saying, March? Next September, so it's gonna be awesome. And I'd love to know where I should do my next retreat. I will go anywhere, I'll do it wherever. I wanna do another one in Greece because it was a great one, very affordable, I love that one. But let me know, comment below on where we should go next. Mahalo everybody. When I was 16 years old, I was diagnosed with PCOS, acid reflux, depression, and IBS. Instead of taking those prescription drugs, I decided to change my life with food. Yes, food healed me, and it's healed so many of my clients over the past 20 years of working with people. If you are interested in transforming your life, check out KetoMaria.com. I'd be honored to help you.